Bad roads and bad drainage channels dot major roads and streets in Imo State, especially Owiri, the state capital. A situation residents and commuters are not finding easy. The government must have to come as a matter of urgency and see what they can do. If not, uh, it might happen that nobody will be able to pass through this road. Finally, their pleas have been heard as the governor, Emekai Hedioha, flags off the reconstruction and rehabilitation of major and dilapidated urban roads in the state. This road had a very strong drainage challenge. The floods that has been coming from the upper echelon of this Owere empties into this road. Your Excellency, you have decided you intentionally directed that we design this road to suit the federal government standard. From one road to another, the governor and his team continue with the flag of ceremony. In order to ensure durability of these roads, the government is working together with qualified engineers at the Ministry of Works in supervising, designing of the roads and the procurement process. The process of getting to this point was transparent and followed due process. The revamped Bureau for Public Procurement and Price Intelligence was fully involved in the procurement processes. All this was to ensure not just quality assurance, but also value for money. A groundbreaking for the reconstruction of Government Technical College of Boruolu, Government Technical College Owiri, Dan Anyam Stadium and Grasshopper International Handball Stadium Owiri are also done by the governor. <laughs> Some of the roads to be captured in this first phase of construction include Nazi Federal Polytechnic Nikede Futo Road, Ahiara Junction Okbala Road, Aba Branch Ahiara Road, Umuawal Olu Road, Control Post World Bank Umuguma Road, Okiwe Road, Imsu Bishop Court Road. 